Hello there, it's Anna here and welcome to Little Crochet Farm. Today I will show you how to crochet Alice. She's one more pattern from the Wonderland collection. You can see here in the screen, all of these patterns are here in the YouTube channel. Uh, the written pattern is in the description below and there you can find all the materials, uh, stitches and needle I use for this toy is a 2mm crochet hook usually I use to crochet my toys. Alright, every stitch and technique I use to create this doll is in the description below. So in the case if this video is too fast for you, uh, check out the description box and every stitch has a one tutorial for themselves. Alright, so now let's start crocheting. Super good. We'll start here with the blue and we will work a couple of details before we start crocheting the actual doll, okay? So you will chain 24 here. So work 24 chains and this what we are doing right now is the part of her dress that we will crochet together in a couple of uh, details later here. Okay, anyways, let me just continue here. Once you finished your 24 chains, you will close and start working on the third loop of the chain. If you don't know, the third loop of the chain is this little loop over here that is behind the chain, okay? You start crocheting, single crochet in the first chain ever, and this will close a circle. All right, so you will work one single crochet inside each of these chain. I tell you here for you to work in this uh, back, this loop that is behind the chain, which we call it the third loop, because this will help later when we are crocheting together this skirt with the doll that will become the dress. Okay, but you can work as you usually do if you want and work on the front loop of the chain, no problem. But I like to show you how I'm doing here. You see, when you work on the back loop, the upper part and the bottom part, it's looking exactly the same. So this is something nice later on when we are crocheting together. For the second round of this dress, I add here a stitch marker. In my case, I use a different color piece of yarn. Uh, for the second round, you will work three single crochet, one increase, repeat six times or repeat all the way until the end. And you should have 30 stitches at the end of this round. So this is the first repetition. Work one, two, three and increase. Work all the way around and I will catch you up. Super good. So. This is how it should be looking like. For round number three, you will work four single crochet, one increase, repeat six times, and you should have 36 stitches at the end of this round. I always suggest you to count how many stitches you have at the end of every round. This can help you to make sure that you're right on track. And if necessary, if it needs, you can just unravel one round instead of, you know, figuring out later. One, two, three, four and here the increase, okay? Super good. Now we are done uh, with the increases and for round four and five, you will crochet 36 single crochet, okay? So there is no increases nor decreases here. You will work 36 single crochet, stop the video here, and I will catch you up for the round number six. Great, so once you reach the last stitch of the round number five, we will work a color change here, all right? And now we will work a bit different. For the round six, you will again work on the third loop of the stitch, but in this case it's a complete stitch, not the chain. You see, these are the back loop, the third loop, not the back loop. This is the third loop. You see this little loop over here? behind your stitch. This is the third loop and it's where we want to work because we want to have a nice um, effect here that is her underskirt that she's wearing under the dress, you know, to make the dress nice. Okay, and here you will work half double crochet. Okay, so you'll work 36 half double crochet here, grabbing only this third loop of the stitch. 
If you never work on the third loop of the stitch before, this can be a bit hard to catch, but once you work some three or four stitches, you will get used to it, okay? And it gives a nice effect. So try hard to work on the third loop and you will learn some new effect if you don't know this already. So this is great. Look at this. This is what we want. This is stitch outside. Super good. Once you finish, this is how it should be looking. You see, this is the grabbing the third loop and it gives this nice effect that you have something under the skirt and this is what we want. Uh, right now, we can cut this thread and we will start fastening this off, uh, waving in all of these ends inside. All right, this is what we want. So for the first one, I will just show you here, you skip the first stitch, you introduce your needle inside the second stitch, full second stitch, okay, pull it tight, and then you introduce your needle only in the back loop of the last stitch from the round. And this will give a nice finished uh, effect that it's a bit seamless, okay? So this is what we want on top of it. So it, it looks like it's just one more stitch. All right, so you unravel the rest. And now we'll start working the arms of this doll. All right, so again, we will start, not again, for the first time here on this uh, tutorial, we will start with a magic ring and you will work six single crochet inside this magic ring. Now, if you don't know how to make the magic ring, you can, watch this video a couple of times but if this is too fast for you there is a link in the description with a complete tutorial only for the magic ring okay one two three four five six so pull this yarn tight so we close this magic ring and we can move on for next rounds so here you will work round two three and four six single crochet okay i will work the first round here with you so here I'm working my first stitch of the second round. I will have a quick stop here on my first stitch because I want to double secure the beginning of this yarn. I, If you are familiar with uh, this channel you have seen, I always do this in the beginning of my toys, okay? To close the magic circle, to remain very nice and tight, I wave in the beginning of this tail inside the first round of the stitch. Okay, super good. So this is already enough and it's very nice and tight and will not be open. So I will continue working here my second round. And there is just one more tiny thing that I wanted to show you. Let me just finish this round. When the detail is super small and if you have a very uh, tight tension, uh, like mine, I, my stitches are very tight and close together. And with the small detail, it can curl a bit outside. You see the stitches are with the wrong side facing out. So you can just organize your stitches like this. And you see how it completely changed the shape. You have now the right side facing out. So this is what we want. Super good. Now, once you finish with the round two, three and four, We'll start working the round number five. So here we are on the last stitch of the round four going for the round five. And we'll work a color change here. And for round, uh, round five, you will work six single crochet, okay? So work your six single crochet here. You see it's a very small detail. So let's work six single crochet. And I will catch you up here. Super good. So once you have done your six single crochet, you can uh, cut this tail, this yarn off. It will not be needed anymore. And I will hide. You can give a simple knot here with these two colors because it will be facing inside of the toy and hide the remaining tails inside of the arm. Okay, we don't need to add stuffing material here. It's a very small detail. And the remaining tails you can hide inside of the arm. All right, now we will fold this arm in half, okay? And we will work three single crochet closing this arm. So you have six single crochet in total, right? Three in one side, three on the other one. So you work these three together. 
The first one might be a bit tricky to get because it's the first stitch and the last, so they are very near each other, but the rest of the two, it's easy to crochet. So this is my third one. Super good. So we have one tiny arm, it's ready. Great. You can cut this off and fasten this completely. We don't need to leave any tail for sewing because we will not be sewing this uh, arm. Okay, so you can cut the yarn and fasten it off completely. Super good. Now let's start crocheting the doll. We will start crocheting the doll from the legs to the head. And here you will work six single crochet inside the magic ring. I'm working with the black because we are working the shoes, all right? So the, sho the shoes of my doll is black. You can work with any colors you want. And we work here six single crochet. All right, so let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, great. So pull it tight, this tail, and move on for round number two. All right, for the second round here, you will work two single crochet, one increase, repeat two times, and you should have eight stitches at the end of this round. Okay, and it's with eight stitches that the legs of this doll will continue. So we'll stop, we'll just have this increase over here. I will work, I will go slow here with you. All right, almost there. All the materials I used and the written pattern you can find in the description of this video, okay? So now I will just double secure here the beginning of this tail, as I always like to do, and I suggest you to do it also. <laughs> Organize your stitches. You see, one more time, the tension of my yarn is pulling the stitches uh, to the outside. And on the last stitch of the round two, you will change to the white color, okay? So for round three to seven, you will work eight single crochet in white, all right? So now here it's very easy. You can stop the video. You can work the rounds three, four, five, six, and seven, and I will catch you up for next instructions. All right, look at this, super good. We have one leg. Let us hide this remaining tails inside of this leg. We will later on add stuffy material, but you don't need it to do it so now. And here on the last stitch, once again, we will work a color change, okay? So we'll start working here again with the blue. So let me just change this real quick. Work with the blue. And I will give here a quick stop, cut this tail, we will not need the white tail anymore, and give a tight knot, all right? It will be facing inside, so it doesn't matter how nice looking is this knot, just be sure that it's very firm. Hide again this remaining tail inside. And now let's move on. Here you will work chains, so you will chain two, and you'll stop here. And one thing I forgot to mention, we need two legs, right? <laughs> so one leg you make completely and fasten off, and the other leg you follow the same instructions, but you don't cut the yarn. Instead, you change to the blue color and chain two, all right? So now you pick one stitch from the finished leg and insert the loop of your needle inside one stitch of that finished legs, leg, and you will work 20 single crochet. Okay, eight from one leg, eight from another leg, two from one side of the chain, two from the, other, from the other side of the chain. So let's go slow here, all right? So I work here one single crochet inside each of the chains. Now we'll work eight single crochet from the leg, okay? So here I can move a bit faster until the other side. And super good. Once you arrive in the, on the other side of the leg, you will work one single crochet on each chains, each of the chain on the other side, okay? So you have here two more stitches. 
and you continue eight single crochet from the leg. Remember that this stitch that you introduce the loop of your needle is one stitch that you need to work one single crochet, okay? You just need to introduce the loop of your needle there. You need to work there also. All right, and now you have here, we'll start to work the body of this doll. And I will finally add my stitch marker once again. I just use a piece of a different color yarn and we'll move on for the next round. So let's go. For now, for round number nine, you will work four single crochet, one increase, repeat four times, and you should have 24 stitches at the end of this round, okay? So work your rounds here. First repetition, I'll work together with you. So we have here four stitches, okay? And now let's move on for the increase. And just remember, increase means you will work two single crochet inside one stitch. One, two, three, four, and this is the increase. Repeat all the way around. And this is how you should be looking like. Look at this, very cute. Okay, so now we will work round 10 and 11, 24 single crochet. Okay, so this is very easy and simple. Work your 24 single crochet and I will catch you up once you are finished here. You can stop the video and move on and I will catch you up for round number 12. That's great. Look at this. Super cute, right? Now I will give a quick stop here just to add a bit of stuffing material because as you grow it gets a bit harder. So I add only in, my, in the legs of my doll. 